In this video, I'm going to turn down a pencil kit. I got it off of Penn State, and I'm pretty excited to see how it turns out. I'm going to be turning it out of Purple Heart, so let's go ahead and get going. <laughs> I've got it turned down to the bushings with just a little bit of slack there so I'm gonna go ahead and sand that and the sanding step will get rid of all the pits. We're gonna take out the tool rest before we start sanding. I've got this to a 400 grit finish and now it's time to take the heat gun and bring the purple back out in the wood. Now with the hot heat gun, I'm going to bring the purple back out in the wood, but I'm going to have the lathe on a lower speed. Now you can see that deep purple in the wood. I'm going to take 400 grit and sand it again because it raises the grain whenever you heat it up. And then I'm going to go ahead and progress up my grits probably to 1500. Here with 1200 grit, I like to do it by hand so I can really get that finish exactly how I want it. That color in the wood is definitely really cool. There's one spot here that I need to take back to 400 because there was some scratches and then take it back up to 1200. Now I'm gonna put a lacquer finish on it. I'm always happy with the results that lacquer finishes leave, the satin finish which is really what I'm looking for. Um, some woods look really good with the high gloss CA glue finish, but I like the satin finish that the lacquer leaves with a rag, especially on Purple Heart. Let's go ahead and take this off of the lathe. Remove my tailstock. And we'll take this piece off. Take off the bushings. I like to put the bushings back onto the mandrel so I don't lose them. Here's our wood blank. You can see just how close we got it to the brass tube at the end. Real thin. That's just what I want. This is going to go onto the pencil kit. Here's all the pieces and I was reading the instructions and it seems kind of hard. Now I'm going to push all these pieces together. We got the tip, the back, all these pieces are going to assemble into the pencil. Here's all my pieces laid out. I have the tip pieces with the coupler and then the coupler back here. This is the centering plug and I take a 5 16 bolt and thread the nut back a quarter of an inch. So then this will press this plug a quarter of an inch into this brass tube. And then whenever I push this through, It'll keep that centered in there. Now I'm gonna push in that centering plug. Just starting out first flush. Now we use this 5 16 bolt to press the centering plug three quarters of an inch down into this brass tube. It's kind of nerve wracking. <laughs> Okay, that's it. Now the clip coupler assembly goes into that same end we just pushed the centering plug into. Now we'll press the tip holder onto the other end of the barrel. Now I'm going to take the pencil mechanism 
and push it into the barrel, just like that. And then we can take the tip, we'll thread that on, and then I'll take the back piece here. Now this piece threads on the back, just like that. And we can thread the tip on the front. And that writes nice. I really like how you can twist it to bring the lead in and out. I've never seen another pencil where you do that. I'm really a fan of it. Whenever you're threading the tip on here, make sure that you get that on tight because you don't want it to break loose whenever you're bringing the lead in and out. I just had that happen and just a note I wanted to add. So this pen really is beautiful. I'm very happy with how it turned out. One other note I just noticed was with the lead, if I grab the lead, it kind of goes in and out a little bit, like it moves about that much. Um, it kind of feels weird whenever you're writing, how it first goes in. It's not a huge deal, but it's just something to keep in mind. So here is the finished product, and I am very happy with it. I got these off PennState.com. You, that's about the only place I could find where you can actually get the pencil kit. Um, Rockler sells the executive style, but they don't have the pencil kit. I found Penn State has a bigger selection, and it's actually just a little bit cheaper. All these websites get it from PSI Woodworking Products. I think the only way you can buy products from them is wholesale, if you're like a retailer. So um, Rockler or Penn State is where you'd want to get different kind of pen kits. So I hope you guys found this video useful. If you did, don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll see you next time.